Welcome to the station of decapitation without your head. I'm Nasty Neal, and I'm joined by Julian Mori and Alexandra Bustillo, writers and directors of Candisha. It's very cool to talk to both of you. Hi, Hi Neil. Hello. Hi, Neil. So uh, Candisha comes out uh, July 22nd on Shudder. And for people who don't know yet, could you give an idea of what the movie is about? Uh, it's very, very simple. There's a movie is about three girls. It's summer breaks. They live uh, in the same uh, hood in France. And um, one of them is um, from Morocco. And uh, one day she, she, uh, she talks about uh, the legend of Aisha Kandisha, who is a very well-known legend only in Morocco, not in Tunisia, not in Algeria, only in Morocco. It's specific to Morocco. It's like the lady in white for Morocco people. And... Uh, and uh, and for for fun, they, they try to 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 call Candisha, and uh, I don't want to spoil the movie, but it works. You know what I mean. So mm -hmm. then, it's a it's a crossover for us between uh, an old mythology from Morocco, bring uh, in the real life in the who in the hood. You know, it's like Candyman with uh, you know a little bit of uh, I don't know if you know this movie from Cecil Sciamma. Don de Fi, you mm -hmm. know, uh, you know, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a movie about, uh, some girls who are, you know, infamous in the hood and, uh, we'll, uh, we are very badass and stuff like that. So we try to make a, a little crossover between, uh, movie monsters like Candyman and, uh, social movie, like maybe, you know, um, uh, Les Miserables, or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, so this is based on or inspired by an actual myth, an actual legend. It's a whole, whole legend, yeah. But the legend is still actual in uh, Morocco. When you ask to people, uh, with Julian, our favorite game is uh, is to ask to, to people, uh, what is your biggest fear, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, we have uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, friends from Morocco. And at every time when uh, we, we, we talk to them, uh, we... we uh, we ask to them, sorry, uh, what is your biggest fear? All people from Morocco to the younger, to the oldest people uh, answer the same answer. Aisha Kandisha is my biggest fear, you know? And uh, the story of Aisha Kandisha begins in the 17th century. So it's a very, very, very old legend in Morocco. And uh, this legend is became a urban legend in France. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's very, very interesting. So uh, when did you guys become like interested in this legend? Was it something that you guys grew up knowing about, or is it something you discovered, you know, recently and then you wrote the movie? No, I, I, honestly, I, I grew up with this legend because I live. I'm not. I'm not living in Paris. I'm living uh, near sixty kilometers from Paris, and in my city, there is uh, one of the biggest uh, hood in France, with very famous and. Also infamous because uh, you know what I mean, right? And uh, so I, I I grew up near this hood, and a lot of of my friends are uh, from Morocco, so I know Aisha Kandisha since I'm young, you know. Uh, so uh, I grew up with it, and with her, and uh, with Julian, uh, we are a lot of uh, every time we are looking for a new concept or new stories, fresh stories. And I remember these stories from my childhood. And I said, oh, guy, I, I got a fucking incredible story uh, from my childhood. And uh, so we, we wrote Aisha Kandisha. Yeah. Now, did Julian, had, were you aware of uh, Kandisha? Were you aware of the, the legend? No, not at all. It's, um, it's Alex that made me discover the, um, the, the creature, the legend. And, um, but it's, what is really interesting is that um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an, uh, you know, an archetypal legend, you know, because this creature is like, um, you know, you can, you, can, you, you can find her in all the, um, in all the culture all around the world. You know, in the Eastern, the Western, you have all, you know, the, the equivalents like the lady in white or the mermaid. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, a woman with, uh, with clothes, sometimes with wings. And, um, and so that's, that's what I thought was really interesting because uh, it's a kind of universal monster. 
mm-hmm. not universal, but uh, <laughs> and um, and and so yeah, that's what that's what I thought was really cool because um, because you can you can easily understand how how she you know how how she she reacts and and how she works you know the mythology mm-hmm. and uh not in your movie that worked for the movie because then it you play it at festivals first and outs on shutter and so all different countries can relate to it even if they don't know you know the actual uh, legend behind it how, how does uh so the rise of the streaming sites like shutter that really opens up um you know all, all the other countries to be able to see your movies how is that you know, how does that help? How has that affected you as filmmakers? Um, the, the fact that we are on Shutter, yeah, and yeah, just kind of the rise uh, it's, of uh, sites where you know the whole the whole world can watch your movies. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, you know we um, we we are of of course um, found of 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 uh, theatrical screenings and the big screen and. Uh, and uh, but um, we we also grew up by uh, watching VHS and um, and so we 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 had like you know incredible um, uh, you know uh, discover or, or you know we 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 built our uh, um, our culture by watching movies on our television. So for us, it's um, uh, the, the most important important thing is that people are able to uh, to see our our movie and to um, to be able to to discover it. So the widest release we have, you know, the happiest we are. And um, so being on Shutter, it's uh, it's really cool because uh, we know that uh, that this you know this kind of of of, of movies are have a very wide fa- fan base. And uh, and and Shutter is the best way to um, to uh, to reach them. Yeah, uh, the demon itself looks awesome, and I like how it kind of evolves throughout the movie. Um, how did you go about uh, with the look of the demon? Is that inspired by some of the actual drawings of it, or uh, for the demons, we um, we bring uh, some uh, our, our personal ideas on it? Because uh, when you read the legend. Aisha Kandisha is a beautiful woman with, uh, you know, uh, goat legs. Mm-hmm. So with Julian, we, we, we decided to, 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 to make th- three steps with her, like an evolution. Right. So the first step, she's uh, all dressed in black. We can't see, uh, we can't see uh, her face. And uh, this is the fir- a first actress who was um, a circus uh, artist. We can. Uh, she, she she brings you know some uh, strange uh, movement and uh, the strange work, and uh, then when uh, we saw her face for the first time, um, when she's beautiful and uh, uh, topless and uh, with her uh, goat legs, we um, this is uh, another actress. She's a professional um, model called um, Maryam Seroli. Seroli, sorry, and uh, she's beautiful as. Uh, but uh, at the same time, she's very strange, you know. She, when we saw her for the first time during the casting, we saw a lot of beautiful girls all the day. But when she came in the room, we were, oh, this girl is different. She's beautiful, no problem with that. But she brings some things different with her eyes, some things evil, you know what I mean? Right. She has uh, the beauty of hell, the beauty of a strange woman. Ooh, she was... Uh, Really, really uh, disturbed and disturbing. And uh, for the last step, when Kendisha is a tall monster, mm-hmm. the, uh, this is not an actress, but an actor. And this is uh, the second tallest man in the world. Oh, wow. Two meters and 46 centimeters. So he's very, very fucking tall, <laughs> uh-huh. you know? <laughs> so without totally effects. Because uh, with Julian, we are totally in love with uh, special effects, you know. And uh, of course, we, we, we use the CGI when we can't uh, do uh, without. But if we have uh, the choice, uh, we, we, we will use uh, 
special effects on on live, you know, on set and not uh, on uh, post production. So we we with Scandisha, we we try to to make all the effects on the set mm -hmm. with these three different actors mm -hmm. for the three different steps. Yeah. I love the gore in the movie. I like that it combines uh, the legend, the story. Because sometimes when we, when you see like a movie about a spirit, it doesn't really have a lot of gore scenes. But uh, I like that this has both because I'm a fan of I'm a fan of a nice story, but I also like I like some cool gore scenes. So, uh, is it? Had you worked with the <laughs> with the special effects artist before? Yes. Yes, with um, um, yes, it's the it's the um, the same uh, the same artist. Um, uh, which is Olivier Afonso, and uh, he runs the, um, the 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 biggest workshop, you know, of, of Paris, and um, and we are working with him, uh, you know, almost since our beginnings, and um, he he has worked on on every of our movies, and um, and it's really important for us to uh, to have this strong relationship and uh, of made of trust and understanding. Because uh, as, as as you are as you are, we are we also are big fans of gory scenes, and um, and and but it's you know sometimes you know we uh, we are a, lit a little bit over the top, <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know how it is you know we uh, when you know when when you want to have a, a very striking effect. Um, for us, you know, we we we, um, we are trying to um, to 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 build the, the, the tension and to uh, and we and and as has a special effect made of on set is really um, long to set up. Um, we we you know we know that it's going to be the the heart of the scene, so we don't want to to mess to 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 mess it up, and uh, and so it's. Um, we we grew up by watching horror movies with special effects, uh, you know, made made on set, and um, with practical special effects. And this is something we really love, and and we are really fond of. And because we we feel that it's more efficient on screen, but also because uh, it's very um, uh, it's very cool for our, our actors to uh, to be able to react <coughs> to something real. And to see the monster for real, or to see the the gore, the gory uh, sequence for real, and um, that that's that's what we did here, and yeah. and I think it was you know it was quite. Only yeah. only the rabbit is in CGI. Oh well, that's good. That's <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big taboo there having the, the rabbit scene. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, totally. <laughs> uh, how, how do uh, how do the French audiences how how do they react to horror movies and uh, and gore? In, in general, general or... uh, yeah, in general, in France, mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult and uh, a little bit schizophrenic schizophrenic in France because in France um, we had invented invented avanté ça je invented. Created, created, yes. The concept created. of gore. The, mm -hmm. We have created the concept of gore with, uh, you know, the uh, um, the grand guignol. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, right, right, yeah. Of course, we are. Yeah, the creators of gore in France, uh, the, and the cinema and gore and the, so. But since the new, the new wave, in the, you know, Godard, Truffaut, in the seventies, they kill the, that kind of cinema in France, and so the audience now. In France, uh, are, are not you know uh, fan of horror movies in general. In French horror movies, but uh, of course, when you you have a, a Jason Blum movie in uh, in theaters, it works, no problem. But all French horror movies in France are not very popular, you know, mm -hmm. and because uh, uh, people are. Are not fun in gore, you know. Are not fun in. We we don't know. It's very difficult to answer to that question. But uh, but uh, but uh, it's strange. It's very <laughs> very difficult because uh, uh, there is a lot of petite. Comment on dire une petite niche? Je joue a lot of uh, a small, very small, you know, uh, uh, fan base. Fan base, you know, where. Uh, 
absolutely uh, fans of gore. Right. But uh, that's all. You know what yeah. I mean? In France, we are a very, very small country, and don't forget this. And so <laughs> we right. are. Uh, yeah. But then, yeah, uh, you know, <clears throat> you guys really find your audience at the festivals. Did the uh, did COVID affect your festival run with Candisha? <clears throat> uh, totally, yeah. Um, of course, we, um, uh, you know, we 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 uh, always had a lot of of success uh, abroad with our movies, and um, you know, uh, there is there is this expression which said that no one is his own prophet in his own country. And um, but uh, but it's really uh, you know really something that we have witnessed uh, f you know for 15 years now that we started in this uh, industry, and um, and of course you know the 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 the, the, the COVID situation uh, affected us really really hardly because the movie was supposed to be released um, in France in theaters and uh, it was cancelled by the lockdown and um and uh, of course all the festival you know we with with our movies we we used to go everywhere mm -hmm. like uh, you know like in in the, the midnight madness in toronto in the in um, in Sitges in spain um and uh, Sitges in spain was the only one we did because um because it was in october and it was right between two uh, lockdown and uh, and she just decided to uh, to have like in guests and but um but as soon as we arrived there the the you know the the restriction were were you know harder and harder like they they, they shut us, they shut all the restaurants and uh, and 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 so uh, so people you know left and and get got out of of the town and so it was kind of really strange and um and of course you know uh it was the you know it was really uh really sad because it was the only festival we we had the opp opp opportunity to um to uh to where to 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 screen the movie and um but um being on shutter is really cool as well because it's going to be released you know like almost worldwide so uh so yeah it's we um we couldn't do another way with this pandemic. Right. So uh, July 22nd on Shutter, you can watch Candisha. And I do miss the festivals, though. I was at a festival right when everything started. And next time, if we're ever at a festival together, I'll bring uh, the Thing board game and we can all play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, Thank Neil. You, Neil. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, Neil. Bye. -bye, Neil. Bye.